actually Dungreed. It's kind of a strange name. I, I don't understand the name Dungreed, but it kind of reminds me of the Swedish uh, word Dungreep, which is uh, one of those tools that you use to shuffle poop with if you're a uh, farmer or something. Doing it, getting up. I don't think it's supposed to be, you know, I don't think there are any doing getting up in this game, but uh, there could be. I have to find out for sure. Doing getting up. <laughs> doing getting up. I love you, you guys on Team Ray. Doing getting up. Hello there and welcome to yet another episode of Gubkoll, the first one of year 2021. As I know and as you know 2020 wasn't the best year ever. I guess it could have been slightly better, but uh, let's make 2021 even better. If you're into games, 2020 was kind of a good year. And I think that 2021 will be even better. In this episode, we are going to take a look at this game and this soundtrack, Dungreed from Nicalis. Dungreed was developed by Team Hooray, a South Korean developer based out of Seoul. I'm not sure about this game, I haven't played it. Uh, but I'm super stoked to do it, but first I have to open it. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm not hugely interested in soundtracks. I like getting them, but I can't play them. And if you're under the age of, say, 25, you must wonder what kind of uh, evil device this is. This is called a CD. Uh, CD stands for compact disc, and this is something we used to play music back in the day, before mp3s and Napster and uh, all those kind of things. So a CD you say? Yes, I say that this is a CD. First we have this OB strip. These sort of like uh, strips is something you would find on uh, Japanese games mostly if not exclusively back in the day uh, and music CDs but uh, if you used to import Saturn games and uh, games that came in, you know, jewel cases like this, you would always have a Obe strip. Uh, it's basically just a bit of paper that um, that's usually loose, but in this case, it's glued to the case, and I think that's kind of odd. I would assume that I can take this away, but. As a collector, you usually want to keep these because they're kind of stylistic and cool. It's it's strange that it's uh, glued there, but I guess I have to live with that. I love this artwork. It's the same as on the cover, but we'll talk more about that later. Let's take a look inside and um, you kids can see what a CD looked like back in the day. First. This is kind of strange. First, when you open this, you see that the OB strip, since it's glued there, it kind of, it acts kind of strange. So you can put the CD down with it without it, you know, racing from the table like that. I can live with that. One of the most sad things about collecting CDs is when you get this. All these parts here in the middle, they just, you know, fall to pieces, which means that there's nothing holding your CD and the CD will rattle all around the case. So frankly, this kind of sucks, but it happens with most CDs eventually. Brilliant artwork. I'm going to be careful with this because this will rattle around like that. Let's check out this to see if we have any art in here. Yes, 
Very nice. Beautiful cover. Very nice inlay art. And then you have some information about the game here. Here we can see the small blobs of glue that they put there. Let's take a look at this. Opening them games like a boss, yeah. Ooh, opening games. <coughs> Ooh. This is something else. No, it's still the same thing, but this is cool, okay? Like I said, I love this artwork. I think this is this is really cool. I don't know why I like it, but I just think the whole composition and the logo type and everything, it it could be like a movie poster or something cool. But then you also have a reversible cover. Like the real deal. Like when you flip it around, you still have like a you know a game cover instead of just interior art or something. This is actually fantastic and we're going to take a look at them right now. First we have the, the normal cover here, same picture as on the CD. When we open this we have first a uh, manual on thick paper and then we have this absolutely crazy fantastic alternative cover let's uh, let's get it out and take a look at it as you see the base color here is basically white and we have some nice characters and you know beebity bobbity boobity then we look on the inside we have a badass dark cover with this key art the same key art that I'm using on the screens here as well as a darker background here I really like both of these, but uh, to be honest, this is one of the nicest covers for indie games uh, that I've seen in a long time. I really like this one. Let's flip it around and use this one uh, on uh, the outside. This is magnificent. It's a piece of art. No, not really, but you know what I mean. I like it. I think it looks... Looks pretty cool actually that's the case with the alternative art and it looks really good i'm gonna stop nagging about how cool it looks but i i seriously think this looks really cool the final thing here is a manual let's use our corp gluggar to check this out that means eyes in swedish Raven holes or something in English. I don't know. I can't translate it. Corp Glugga. Do a Google Translate and you might find something. If you find something, please send me a message so I get to know what Corp Glugga means. Good. Are we done? Thank you. Same design as the cover and the CD. This is printed on kind of nice paper. I think it's a bit thinner than the Ikaruga uh, manual, but that was like cardboard. You could probably kill someone with that. Maybe it's the same thickness, I don't know. But it's very, uh, it's very cool to have sturdy manuals like this. It's not flimsy at all. And uh, yeah. We've got some really good information in here. This feels like a real classical manual, like the ones you used to get for uh, your old NES games or uh, Mega Drive or whatever games. I think more developers and publishers should bring back manuals like this. So, Nikalis, Nikalis, Nicholas, Nicholas, listen to me now. You did good. Thank you. Awesome. There you have it, my friends. Um, Dungreed for the Nintendo Switch. I believe this is a uh, 
flipping awesome, super cool game, uh, and I will check it out as soon as I turn the camera off. Or maybe later, or some other day, I don't know. When I have the time, I will check this out. But as you might understand, I'm a very busy guy. I do stuff like read books, take baths, walk the dog and stuff like that. And it takes time. So when I have the time, I will play it. Thank you for watching this far. Until next time, stay safe, stay gold and keep your head down.